Hey guys and welcome back to the TC Games Daily Origami Series. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this heart and flower envelope. And it's not too hard to make but it is a bit tedious. And the heart is actually a different piece than the actual envelope. And for the heart I used a 6 inch by 6 inch sheet and for the big envelope here I used a 10 inch by 10 inch sheet. And you can use that ratio to make this. So let's get right into it. Okay, so for this model I'm going to use a 6 inch by 6 inch sheet of origami paper for the flower heart. And I'm going to use approximately 10 inch by 10 inch sheet for the actual card itself. And you can use that ratio to create your own uh, sized uh, card and uh, heart. That's entirely up to you how you want to do that. But uh, you are going to need a bigger sheet of uh, paper obviously for the envelope. And to make this, we're going to start by turning it so that the color side is facing down, like this. And we're going to fold it so that this side edge aligns with the side edge over here. Like this. And you want to get it nicely aligned before you crease it in. Because it will affect your end result depending on how you crease it all in. Or fold it rather. So once you've got that aligned, give it a nice crease from one edge to the other, like this. Now we're going to unfold it. I'm going to turn it now, and I'm going to fold it the same way, so I'm going to fold it so that this side edge aligns with the side edge here, like this. And again I want to get it nicely aligned, like so. and. Once you're satisfied with it, just give it a nice crease, like that. Oops, it's a huge paper, so it might tend to wrinkle at times, but just make sure you, you're careful with it and don't rip into it. And then unfold it, and you should now have a cross shape in the center. Now we're basically going to fold the side edges to the center creases we made, so we're going to start with this side. And we're going to fold it like this. And once we've got that aligned, give it a nice crease, like this, unfold it, do the same thing on this left side here, fold it to that center crease, and then crease it in, this edge to this edge, like that, unfold this. So you should now get a shape like this. We're now going to turn it and do the same thing on this side. So fold it so that this side edge aligns with that center crease. And these are all basically pre-creases for the, well I'd say the last step in creating the envelope. So again, once you've got that aligned, give it a nice crease. Unfold it and do the same thing on this side once again just creasing it in nicely once you've done that unfold this flap now we're going to give it a diagonal crease that goes from this top edge here to the bottom edge down here so we're going to fold it so that the top edge over here aligns with the side edge over here so we're going to fold it like this and again, try to be careful not to rip the paper, like this. And once you're satisfied with the alignment, give it a nice crease from one edge to the other. Like so. And once you've creased that in, you should now get a shape like this, and just unfold it. And flatten everything out. Now basically what we're going to do is we're going to fold it so that the tip here folds to the center where the creases intersect, right there. So we're going to fold it right to about there. Once you've got that aligned, crease it in nicely. And do the same thing on all the other sides. So fold it to the center. Once you're satisfied with the alignment, crease it in. Do 
Do the same thing with this side. Just like this. And then finally, fold this to the center and crease it in. So once you get it to this shape, we're going to go to one of the corners and we're basically going to pop out these two uh, edges here where we've got the two creases. Then we're going to pinch it and pull it down until we get a rectangular shape over here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, so grab the creases there and pull it down like this and then flatten it out until you get a shape like this. Now we're going to grab the corner here and just fold it down against the edge of these two flaps like this and then crease it in. And finally we're going to do the same thing on this side. Fold that to the center and crease it in. And you should now have your finished envelope and if you want to put in a message just open up these flaps, open this up and you can place your message right in the center there and then just close it back down. Now to actually hold the envelope in place we're going to need to use the uh, heart that we're going to make and that's going to basically attach these two tips here. So let's put this aside and let's get that started. So for that one you're going to need your other square sheet of paper, the smaller one and I'm using the 6 inch by 6 inch sheet. and. Uh, we're going to start by turning it so that we've got the color side facing down once again. Now we're going to fold it so that the top edge here aligns with the bottom edge down here. So we're going to fold it down like this. And again you want to get it really nicely aligned so that your end result looks good. And then crease it in like this. Now we're going to unfold it. And now we're going to fold it so that this side edge aligns with the side edge on this side. And once you've got that aligned, give it a nice crease. Oops, just like that. Unfold it. You should now have a cross shape in the center, like this. Now we're going to fold it so that this side edge aligns with that center crease. Just like that. And once you've got that aligned, give it a nice crease unfold it, do the same thing on this side so fold this edge to that center crease and again just crease it in unfold it, now we're going to turn it this way and we're going to do the same thing, so fold this edge to the center just like that crease it in, unfold it, and finally do the same thing on this side. Once you've got that aligned, crease it in, and unfold it. Now you should have a shape like this. Now we're going to turn it so that one of these tips is facing us, like this, and we're going to fold it so that this tip meets that center crease, just like that and you just want to crease it in once you've got that aligned and do the same thing with this side just fold it to that center crease and then crease it in repeat the same step on the third side here crease it in and finally do the same thing on this side fold it to the center and crease it in Once you've got it to this shape, now we're going to basically take the flaps here and we're going to pinch the two creases that are close to the tip and we're going to pull it out just like we did with the envelope. Then take this flap, bring it in, take this flap as well and bring it in. Do the same thing on this side this time, so take these two creases here, pinch them in, and then pull them out together. 
until you end up with a rectangular shape. Then you want to take the flap here, fold it down, like that. And then do the same thing on this side, fold the flap down. And we're going to do the same thing on this side, so open up this flap. Like that, pull it down. Like so. Take this flap, bring it up. Take this flap, pull this down. And finally we're going to do it on this side, so grab these two creases once again, pull it apart so that it's a rectangular shape. Then we're going to take these two flaps and collapse them back down. And what you should end up with is a shape like this with four squares, one on each side. Now we're going to flip this over and we're going to fold it so that this side edge aligns with that center crease, like this. Crease it in. Do the same thing on this side. Unfold it. Fold this edge here to that center crease. Crease it in. Repeat the same thing on this side. Unfold it. And finally, fold this to the center crease. And crease it in. So now you should end up with a shape like this. Now we're going to take this model and we're going to flip it over to this side. And we're basically going to fold it so that this side edge aligns with that center. So we're folding this tip to the center basically. Like this once again. Crease it in. And just repeat the same thing all the way around. But this time there's going to be a lot of paper there so you really want to crease that in. And do the same thing here. And finally do it on this side. Now we're going to unfold all four flaps. Then we're going to unfold four of these flaps. One, two, this one and this one. And then we're going to flip it over. And we're going to grab this tip here this edge. We're going to place our hand right past this first crease here. We're going to let this fold out and basically do this on all four sides. So one, two, do it on this side and then finally do it on this side. So grab this edge here, bring that in. And now you're going to have four of these little corners sticking up. Just grab it and push it down and do the same thing on this side and you really just want to flatten it at this point. Just crease it all into place nicely without ripping anything until you end up with a shape like this. Now we're going to flip this model over once again. So we're going to take it, we're going to flip it over and we're basically going to pinch these two corners here so that it flattens out and you want to do that on all four sides, so just pinch these two corners and it should just flatten into place like that. Same with this side and finally this side. Then we're going to take this little triangular flap on each side and just tuck it into itself. Not like that, like this. And there should be a flap underneath where you can just tuck that in. And just keep doing that on all sides. But you do want to be careful not to rip it because it will be delicate in that corner there. So again, do the same thing here and here. And just keep going around. Do it on this side. And finally do it on this corner here. Just like that. And if it tends to pop out a bit, just go ahead and readjust it, like this. So that you end up with a shape like this. 
Now we're going to go back to each of these flaps and look at which one is not going in properly. So if, take this one for example, it's not really fitting in well, so we're going to uninsert that. So that we just have one of these flaps that are not pushed in on both sides. So carefully take that out on each side. Like this. So as you can see, one of the flaps is not in. So now once you've got it like this, with just one flap opened, we're going to basically push this corner in so that it folds into itself like that and do the same thing on this side so just push it in like this and it should create this little triangular tip here and we're basically just going to take this and just tuck it into this pocket here And if all your sides are perfect, then just choose one. It doesn't matter which one you really take out and do that. And as you can see, this one unrolled. So if that happens, just fold it back in. So at this point, you should get a shape like this. And the side that you actually tuck that triangular shape into is going to be the top of the heart, as you can see right here. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to shape this up. So we're going to take this corner here, and we're going to fold this down and how much you want to fold it is entirely up to you and based on how you fold it the heart's going to be shaped accordingly and once you've got that folded in, crease it in and then match this side to the other one it's approximately that length, so just crease that in as well until you end up with a shape like this now we're going to take these two corners here and fold this in as well and again, how much you want to fold it is entirely up to you Fold it to about that length, and do the same thing on this side. So somewhere close to there. Crease it in. And for the final step, we're just going to take this corner and tuck it into the pocket right here. Just like this. And do the same thing on this side, just tuck this corner into that pocket. And just let that slide in nicely. And when you turn it over, you should now have your finished heart shape. And before we actually unfold the petals, we're going to go back to our envelope, which was here. And now you'll notice that there are two pockets here, one up here and one down here. We're basically going to insert one pocket into one of these corners. Then we're going to push the heart down. Then take this top tip here and insert it into the other corner and that should basically keep your envelope folded and for the final step you can go ahead and just unfold those petals whichever way you like I'm going to unfold one and just keep unfolding each of the corners like this and you should now have your finished envelope with the heart and flower which looks like this so thanks for watching guys if you liked the video don't forget to rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time